guys uh, this one is about PyCharm and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to install PyCharm on uh, Ubuntu or uh, Linux Mint um, uh, right now I'm using Linux Mint but uh, it's it, it should be the same for um, Ubuntu as well so the first thing you want to do is uh, just go to the uh, PyCharm's official download page it's under www.jetbrains.com and then just uh, look for PyCharm and then just uh, go to downloads and uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you pick the one that you want now there's uh, two kinds there's the community edition which means that's the you know it's free and then you got the professional one which uh, I'm not sure how that works out because I haven't used it yet but I think it's uh, you gotta pay for it or something so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the uh, community edition so what you would do is you would just click on download and um, I think I've already have it on in here. I'm not sure, but basically, what you would do is you would just save the file. Let me see if I already have it. I don't want to uh, download it if I uh, if I already have it. Uh, so, let me open up my manager here and should be let's see downloads. So, do I have it? Looks like I don't have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it right now. So what you would do is just save the file and click OK. And it's going to take maybe one minute. You want to make sure that once it's done uh, downloading, you want to locate the um, the uh, zip file and extract it. And then I'm going to go. I'm going to show you how to do it from the uh, terminal because it's uh, very simple to do. Um, so if you see here, it's done uh, downloading. So let me see. It's under downloads. So just make sure if you have it under downloads, make sure you uh, you know you find that if it it could be under temp depending on uh, where it's set up. So if you see, it says here PyCharms community. So um, basically, what I want to do is I want to open up the terminal because I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it from the terminal. Now, if for some reason you did want to do it from the uh, what do you call it from the you wanted to extract it directly from here, which it's actually very simple to do. You just uh, click on. But I'm also gonna do it from the terminal as well. So, okay. So why is it doing it two times? Should have done it only once. Make sure that it's not doing it twice. No. Okay. So if you see, once it's extracted you can uh, go in, into it and basically what you would do is uh, you would go into the bins folder or directory and then uh, look for the PyCharm uh, SH what you want to do is open up your terminal and then uh, I'm going to CD into the downloads folder because that's where it's at and then just basically look for it so you know it's right here so what you would do is uh, you would make sure that you use the uh, tar command is tar and then dash x cf and then PyCharm and then uh, just basically uh, wait a couple seconds and uh, then after that we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, CD into PyCharm uh, directory and uh, go ahead and uh, run it and start doing the installation process which is pretty simple okay so now let's check so as you see it's done so now what we want to do is we want to CD into it so I'm gonna go ahead and clear it and instead of doing all that I'm just gonna do this here in CD but actually gotta make sure okay I'll just copy it because I don't wanna mess it up okay so just copy that so we're gonna CD into it there we go so now once we're in it we're gonna do an LS and what we wanna do is we wanna CD into the uh, bin directory and once we're in the under bin, then uh, we gotta go ahead and run the uh, PyCharm.sh. So that's very simple. You just uh, put a dot and then and, uh, PyCharm and then uh, .sh. PyCharm.sh. And make sure that I spell that correctly. Okay, so that's it. Now I should. Uh, might take a couple seconds but then after that you're gonna see the uh, screen pop up and uh, just go through the installation and uh, okay so there we go and now what we want to do is uh, just go ahead and accept the um, private the policy or whatever that is just click accept 
Uh, it, sh it should be fine and that's pretty much it now you see PyCharm is launching and uh, it's pretty much installed on your system and uh, you can go ahead and start using it to um, do some uh, Python uh, projects uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK on that and that's pretty much it so now if you've ever used it uh, but I'm assuming you haven't so what you want to do is go to create new project and that's pretty much it then you want to name it one thing that is important is you might want to choose the right interpreter so as you see here it's showing me 2.7 and I have also 3.4 I'm gonna go ahead and go with 3.4 and change that and then after that I'm just gonna name it whatever so I'm gonna call it Python projects and that's pretty much it now after that I'm gonna click on the create button and that's that's it now you're ready uh, now this might take a couple seconds but uh, anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and show you um, real quick a couple things and then after that I'm gonna wrap it up so I always disable this because I don't want to I don't want it to keep on showing so just uh, go ahead and close that so if you see here it's uh, it's called Python projects that's what I named it okay and then after that if you want to create a new file Python file just go to new and then uh, Python file so I'm gonna call this one main oops main and then after that just you don't have to put the dot pi because it's already included uh, it's gonna automatically include it so if you see it's uh, main.py of course you could always do it like this you can go to new file and then name it main but then you have to give the extension so it would be .py so you can do it like that but I prefer to do it the other way so uh, that's pretty much it then uh, if you want to test it out make sure that it's uh, working basically what you would do is uh, just uh, give it some kind of statement so print hello there just to make sure that it works and then after that you can uh, go ahead and run it oh well actually one thing right now I'm trying to move I'm moving too fast uh, right now it's uh, actually uh, still processing and uh, uploading or whatever it's doing so it's gonna take maybe a minute before I can actually uh, go ahead and run it so if you see here at the bottom that uh deal here once this is done and you're pretty much set so let's see it's almost done so one thing I wanted to show you also here while it's doing that is uh, if you go to file and then settings this is uh, always important for you to know because uh, you definitely gonna be using this a lot so if you go to under projects Python Python projects so basically under projects because the name might be different uh, and you go to project interpreter in here you're gonna be uh, this is uh, where you're gonna be in installing your um, what do they call it like your modules or um, tools or whatever they're called basically just come over here uh, this is a path that you have to understand because you're gonna be using this a lot so uh, yeah uh, for right now I can't really do it because I guess it's still um, updating but uh, basically what you would do is you just click on this plus sign and then uh, look for whatever tools you're, um, you need so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it alone for right now okay so now let's see if I can go ahead and run this uh, run and then just click on that and it says syntax error uh, I think I forgot to uh, do this right here okay now let's try it one more time now you have an op two options you can do it from here you can go up here and click on run run main or you could uh, do it you can just right click anywhere here on the screen and then just click on run main so I find it easier just to right click and then uh, run it like that it also has another command here if you see you can do control shift F10 that seems a bit odd for me to be using it so um, I just right click and run so that's it so if you see here it says hello there so everything's working fine 
So uh, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. So that's it for now. Bye.